Okay guys, I'm back and this is going to be a normal pour. Um, I've mixed up a lot of colors. I'll put them up here in a row. This one is a little bit different than that one. This more tends to be a little bit more green than this turquoise. This is the same one. I mixed up a lot of that. I have a green, which is a permanent green light from Windsor & Newton. I put in a little bit of yellow, light yellow, and it makes it just a little bit more uh, pleasing to the eye. That is sienna. I have some uh, yellow hue. I have orange hue. That's about it. That's Van Dyke. So we have all these colors, which we're going to put on this canvas. And um, I'm going to be doing two. So first one, uh, I'm going to start with the uh, turquoise, the more green one. The mix I'm using is a PVA pouring medium. There is a um, about let's say 300 grams of PVA. There is about 75 grams of gloss medium from Windsor and Newton. There is 100 grams of pouring medium Vallejo, the old formula. There is a little bit of Floetrol in there and a little bit of water in there and I mix it all up and that's what I'm using at the moment. So we're putting in a little bit of that darker turquoise. We're going to put in the orange. We're going to put in the sienna. We're going to put in the yellow. And to finish it off, a little bit more of the turquoise and a little bit more of this brown color. Now, as you can see, sometimes I pour it from up high, sometimes I pour it from down low. And the only reason I do that is because the higher you pour, the more the paint gets down into the, um, to mix with each other. So you don't have to use a stir stick. That's the only reason I do that. Now I'm going to turn it around and release it straight away. And as you can see, I used a lot of um, brown. So that's the going to be the main color that's coming out. And we're going to let it move over the canvas a little like that. And before I totally do it, I'm going to torch it. very slowly. I'm not, you know, putting the torch too close to the paint because all we want is a couple of cells to pop. Not too many, just a little. That's enough. And now we're going to let it spread over the sides, as you can see, one way the other way and as you can see they're already getting really big right down here and I'm going to keep this because this is nice and light so I'm trying to manipulate the canvas that I can keep as much of this as I can and that's it now it's a nice dark brown earthy pour and I kind of like it And the other one which I will be doing is going to be um, exactly the opposite where I'll be using a lot more turquoise. But this is, uh, this is okay. So I'm going to torch it one more time to get rid of some air bubbles and get some, maybe some tiny little cells that'll come out and they will play around with the big ones. There it is. So only a few tiny little ones came out, uh, as you can see here. 
Those are the extra little cells that came out with the second uh, torch. But this is very earthy, very, I don't know. I, I, I think it's pretty, it's different from what I normally do. And I know that a lot of people have seen me do a lot of blues and turquoises. So sometimes you just want to get out of your comfort zone and do different colors. So what I'm doing now is making sure the corners are all covered. I don't want to disrupt this because I got some really nice cells coming over the side. So we're going to leave that intact. All the sides are done. I'm going to scrape one time the uh, the frame just like that to get off the drips. And now I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. As you can see there are a couple of dents in there. That's the silicone but when this dries it'll dry smooth. Now we have uh, some drip off here on the uh, on the table and what I like to do is just you know with the uh, last bit of paint I like to do some experimenting and that's something that I can uh, advise you to al also do because it makes you understand your paints just take some other colors if you want because drip off will always be something especially when you use a lot of colors this is going to turn gray really fast if you don't watch out you know if you manipulate it even more than I'm doing now it'll turn gray but we're just going to give it a swipe with a palette knife like that and then we're going to see what it's going to give us Now you can see where it was, um, this swipe color was really thin. That's this bit where it sells beautifully. And this is where it's thicker and that's not going to be selling because it's just too thick on top. And I'll show you that again in a, in a minute where I'll first, I'll give this some uh, extra silicone. Let me put this one away. So I'm going to spray some on, on here on the table, get a new card, scoop it up, see how it's turning into one color really fast, you can't help that. So cleaning off the palette knife. And what I'd really like is the orange. Give it a little spray. Put it on here. And pull it down like that, really thin. And now you can almost, well, I don't know if you can pick it up on here. I'll, I'll get it in real close. But as you can see here, it's almost like lace laying on top of the, uh, the other color. I'll show you. See that? This is where it almost turned into lace. It's, it's really compact the color is laying on top of the uh, the the base color even up here you can see it it is really laying on top and almost not not mingling with the uh, with the color I had underneath so that is uh, kind of nice to look at and we'll do that in another color also clean off the palette knife again 
And it happens because we are putting um, silicone, extra silicone, in the top swipe collar. So it's giving it enough silicone to make those beautiful lace patterns. So what I'm going to do now is use another color. I'm going to use the lighter turquoise color. I'm going to put it on here. But I don't want to add uh, silicone to the cup because I'm going to be doing another pour in a minute. So that's why I'm spraying my pellet knife. I'm putting the, uh, the silicone on top of the pellet knife. Now I'm going to clean it off again, as you can see, pretty clean. And we're going to swipe it down here. Now this is really thick, so that won't sell. So I'm going to swipe it again. And now I can almost see through it. So then I know it'll give me some cells. And my torch is almost empty, so it's, it doesn't have that much power. That's why I'm holding it so close. There's almost no flame coming out. Okay, that's enough. And I'll show you up close. And that's what we call lacing. See that? So I'm going to keep these two. Never know what you're going to make out of them. And we're going to do one more because we have a little bit left here on the table. And this time I'm going to give it some other colors. Got to make sure that I keep some for the next pour, of course. Ooh, let me get you into focus. There it is. A little bit of this yellow. That's enough of that. Give it a tiny spray of silicone. And pull it down like that. And let's see what we get. I don't think we're going to get much because it's almost turned into one color. But a few little cells just might pop up. Nah, not too much. But that's because we don't have the contrasting colors. So if we were to put on some more of this and swipe that over, it just might do something. Let's see. Maybe a little green would be nice. Just swipe that down here. Whoops. And there you see the cells already popping up. trying to get a little bit of a pattern in there. Yeah, not really liking it. I think I'll trash this one. Just see what else it can do. Got to fill my uh, torch in a bit. Not that exciting. Sometimes, you know, at the end of the uh, paint, there's not much left. That might turn into something pretty. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that sells a little bit. But I don't think it's really worth uh, letting this dry. This isn't so, uh, so uh, interesting tiny bit there but that's because we've manipulated this paint on the table too much and as you can see then it turns into one color I will I wouldn't call this muddy but because it's a really nice green patina color but that's it that's the last of it and after this 
you know you can't do much with it only uh, maybe save it if you like this color put it in a little jar put a lid on and save it for uh, to add to some sort of a, a pour you can do that so getting the last off the table so we can clean it and we can do our next pour so I want to thank you all for watching guys and I will be back in a minute with the next one where we're going to put more turquoises in there than browns and see the difference of the pour so thanks for watching love you all to pieces liebe euch alle bye bye